If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the Dart Man and the Neighbor. <laughs> All right, Dirtman here. Been using the uh, Victrox uh, Terrapin rangefinder here this last uh, five, five months, and uh, been super impressed. We've been making some great, great ranges with this machine. Summer, we're ranging out to uh, 3,200 yards on trees, uh, landscape, that type of stuff. And now in the winter, the big thing we're looking at is what can we do on snow? Uh, very reflective, it's like water. Uh, if it don't have anything to bounce off of, it ain't going to uh, report back any yardage. And uh, been very, very impressed. We've uh, ranged out to, I think it's 1850, was the furthest we ranged on a coyote uh, right after Christmas. Um, you know, it depends on the air quality too. We get a lot of fog and we've had a lot of uh, uh, ice crystals, kind of a misty snow in the air. That cuts it down obviously, just like fog would. Um, you know, a lot of these models, they just can't penetrate uh, that kind of stuff when they, when your air quality is like that. But, um, yeah, super cool. We've got, I'm going to do, I'm going to put a clip on here, and it's us, uh, it's uh, me with a neighbor. I make the shot at uh, a couple coyotes, they're at 1662, so just under a mile on snow, and we know we're hitting them because if you don't it's not reporting back a range you try ranging on the snow anywhere out there if you're not on them you won't get a range so it's hitting them so I'll show this little clip I don't hit them I'm just a hair high very close we don't always get them but uh, we're definitely getting out there in the ranges and we uh, definitely hope to get some some good far ones but uh, here's the clip hey dirt man here with the neighbor after Christmas we got five coyotes. We're gonna go look at the, the two there together. We got a range on them at what? 1652. 1662. 1662. Just drive a mile. So we're gonna try to make a shot on them. Loaded, I'm loaded and dialed and ready to shoot. They're perfect together. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Watching. Here goes. Oh, just over, over them, dude. Perfect clean. Oh. Just over them. Man, that was close. Now we're gonna come this way. Dude, that was close. Yeah. Wow, would you aim for wind right on? Yeah. Well, I, I adjusted 12 clicks, 3 MOA for wind. I was close. Dark man made a shot. All right, we're back. You see on that clip, I was, uh, it's quite a ways out. You know, I said just under a mile. Um, it did help. We had two coyotes right together, so we did get ranges back a lot quicker. Um, you know, it's a little larger target. Um, when they're singles and broadside, uh, that range that definitely helps. If they're laying down, uh, you know, 14, 1500 yards, we're getting back a good, uh, good range. Um, sometimes it takes three or four uh, tries before you actually do get a range um, on some of those distances. So it's not always one and done with the range finder. But uh, definitely gets out there. So this machine, and we're pushing a mile on snow on a very small target. Um, I said before we have the Leica 1600s as well. Uh, very good range finders. But last year, same situation on snow. We had days where we couldn't get beyond 500 yards. Um, just just couldn't uh, couldn't get a range. You know, but we did have you know some good situations. You know. Uh, where we did have a couple of ranges on snow out to about 800, I think 850 was the max. I think I remember us ranging on snow in a coyote. So we're doubling our range with this range finder, um, you know, and definitely in a tough situation. So they're a lot of money. You know, these, these are uh, just over $2,000. 
So if you're serious about it and you want to push those ranges, um, you have to have it, plain and simple, in the winter. Uh, you won't be you won't be ranging anything out beyond uh, 800 yards on snow with uh, any other rangefinder. I'd be curious to try out a G7. I've seen their products. Uh, they're supposed to be a pretty good rangefinder, um, but with this one, I don't see us in the foreseeable future investing in another rangefinder. So this one's you know plain and simple. We want the range. Boom, we're getting it and getting it out there far. So. If you have any questions, uh, comments, put it on the channel. We'll try to respond, get you an answer, and and uh, do our best with that. Because we're trying to get out and uh, get some shooting. Third man out.